A well-fenced family compound takes just over a thousand large acacia trees from the desert and that means that much of the trees around the settlements are removed simply for fencing. In about 20 years the termites eat them off and you have to go look for more trees but there may be no more trees. So the introduction of just one species here, Euphorbia tiricale, which are close set as cuttings, stop all cattle and goats but are not eaten by them. This is a great benefit because there's no longer any need to cut the trees. In every compound are the animals that were brought in for shelter from lions or from predators the night before. Previously all the compound and the fencing material was built out of trees which are now gone. So the first request of any group in the Kalahari will be for barbed wire and for gates because there's many miles before we come to good tree country. So we're showing how to adapt local material to new conditions. Here uh, we're demonstrating you don't have to cut down a lot of trees to make the walls of the pen. It's a natural goat pen in the middle of a standing clump and where there is no trees in the circle, the roots are cut below the ground. So you can use living trees to fill the gaps. And uh, it's already quite fertile on the side. By the time the goats have been in here for a while, it'll be more fertile. And then we can use it for a garden. And so what we're teaching here is growing, growing your goat pens, not cutting down the environment and making a lot of yards.